drummers. Ah, drum corps season is back and I am absolutely loving all the early season footage. One of the things that immediately jumped out at me was Santa Clara Vanguard's tenor tuning. As soon as I heard them play eights, I was like, whoa, tenor tuning sounds different. What notes are those? So let's do another quick quad tip and take a look. So going up the drums, they're using F, G sharp, A, C sharp. And the really interesting thing is the half step between drum three and drum two. Usually it's a larger interval, like a minor third, which would be three half steps. So this gives it a very dark, dissonant kind of sound to it. When we listen to the tenor drums play along with the front ensemble, you can hear that the front ensemble is also doing a lot of dissonant, kind of dark melodies and harmonies. And so the tenor tuning matches up very well with that. At the Cavaliers in 2002, we had drum four tuned to B, drum three, C sharp, drum two is E, and drum one is G sharp. So you can hear that's a much brighter sound. It's basically an E major chord with the B in the bass, so it's a first inversion. And then with drum three at C sharp, which is the major sixth. And you can hear how that matches really well with the music. In general, when you're trying to pick which notes to use, you of course want to look at what key the music is in. And of course the key is going to change probably, so it's not going to be perfect. But pick the main key that your music is in and some good notes to use are the root, the major third, fifth, the major sixth. So basically any of those major pentatonic notes, you can also include the major second. Those are going to sound pretty good. If you're in a lot of minor sounding music, then maybe you want to use the minor pentatonic scale, the root, the minor third, fourth, fifth, and maybe the minor seventh. So that's going to do it for this video, but let me know what your tenor tuning technique is. Do you use any interesting intervals or what's your approach? Let me know in the comments section and I'll see you on the next video.